All right, all right, all right. Listen, I know we usually try to keep our shows to an hour. We're at an hour and three minutes. I still, I just want to do these all-in predictions. So let's run through them real quick. We got ten matches on the card so oh, far. Let me pull up some graphics that I got. That means we're good. That means it's a five-hour show. <laughs> No, 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 no. Just to say who you think is going to win. If you, you have know, any I mean, quick thoughts about it. Will be five hours, oh, I show. thought you meant our review <laughs> show. <laughs> yes, it's going to start at 10 a.m. Pacific time here. It'll probably end at like 3 p.m. So, oh, okay. Uh, all right. So, first, this is on zero hour on the pre show. It's Z Willow Nightingale and Tomohiro Ishii versus Chris Statlander and Stokely Hathaway. They, they announced this on Collision guys so mm -hmm. the, st the stipulation is that whoever wins this match gets to pick the stipulation for willow and chris statlander's match at all out a couple weeks later for the cmll women's title <laughs> do you so remember the stipulation <laughs> I, don't, I didn't even know this match existed yeah oh, it's, oh wow it's, it's pretty bad i mean this is okay. this is what they did with chris statlander after they like got Jade Cargill to job to her and anyways I, I'm sure they think this is good but I still need a winner uh, I'm gonna pick uh, Statlander and, and Stokely somehow I think they're I, although I don't I, it will be funny to see Stokely in the ring with Tomohiro Ishii <laughs> okay uh, Robert who you got for this just just make uh, a prediction I mean, we gotta I don't, don't care but I'll pick Willow <laughs> You'll pick Willow and Ishii, okay? okay. Vlad, yeah, what do you sure. think? Yeah, yeah, I'll uh, pick Ishii. Ishii. <laughs> this is going to be Ishii's big London moment, big big all-in okay. moment. By the yeah. way, but before I move on from the rest of these, I, I was going to mention that uh, too bad that, that next year's all-in is not in London. Like, I, I really thought it was going to be like their WrestleMania, and it being in London at Wembley made it like this was always going to be a big stadium show. You know what I mean? So I'm kind of disappointed that it didn't work out over there. I don't think they they have, like, high ticket sales so far for this show. So they've given up on it. Dude, no, it's, it's they have no one to blame but themselves. If their product was any better, they would have, you know, they could yeah. have no, it's true. sold more tickets for the second annual show. Of course, they had to move it to a smaller stadium for 2025 because they couldn't. I don't know how many they're going to have for this show. But it obviously won't be anywhere near what they had the first, you know, in the first show. So. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I just wanted to mention that real quick that I think that's overall disappointing and a, and a sign of how bad they've been doing. But nonetheless, yeah. let's be positive for this segment. We're excited for All In. It's this coming Sunday. So uh, the next, this is the first one that is going to be on the main show for sure. It's Timeless Tony Storm and the Glamour Mariah May. Uh, Vlad, who you got on this one? Uh, oh, such a terrible feud. Uh, so ridiculous. Uh, I guess I'll go with Tony Storm. I, I, I guess I'm gonna stick with that. Okay. All right, Robert. Okay, I, I said many, many, many months ago that Mariah May would be the one to take the title off of Tony. So I'm gonna stick with. I'm gonna stick with it. So I'm okay. gonna pick Mariah May. Uh, man, that'd be a tough, tough win for a, a, a tough loss for a babyface in a big stadium show. But okay. Uh, I'm going to go with Tony Storm. I'm with Vlad. Uh, next one, MJF and Will Ospreay for the AEW quote-unquote American Championship. I think it's technically still the international title, but I'm not sure about that. I'm picking Will Ospreay. I think he's going to get the belt back and change it back to the international title and restore it to its former glory of the greatest champions who have been international champions like Ray Phoenix and Orange Cassidy. But go ahead. <laughs> Robert, what did you what say you that think? with a spray face? Oh, well, my. that's what Will Ospreay said with a spray face on that's Dynamite. True. You absolutely fucking right. He said those exact words. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> Which was You're ridiculous. Right. That it was, was the absurd. most ridiculous thing. But You're okay, right. Robert, who you got? Uh, You're so right. Uh, all right, I'm, I'm also going to pick Will Ospreay, but I'll, I'm also going to say good luck to these guys trying to top their first matchup. <laughs> Yeah. Good luck. What I say. Right. Yeah. All right, Vlad, you got any ideas what's going to yeah, happen? Yeah, I mean, Osprey's going to win in his home country, for God's sake. So uh, this is, if, if they somehow have him lose, they're insane. Uh, but, yeah. How about a run-in from up. Daniel Garcia to but mess it he... up for MJF? Oh, for MJF. Okay, yeah, I could see that. But, but And then Osprey it'll wins. be Daniel Garcia versus MJF at All Out. So. Oh, yeah, that's 
but that's all MJF needs to do is fight Daniel Garcia at a major pay per view. Well, they've already set that, that up. So, anyway, uh, next uh, next one, next one. This is a coffin match for the TNT uh, Championship. Uh, Jack this Perry. Is ta- this is actually tasty. Actually, like, I can't Darby wait till these two kill each other. Yeah, this is going to be good, actually. I think this one's nice. The, the feud has been – well, Robert gave this uh, segment this past Monday for these guys a uh, thumbs up. So he actually liked them. Uh, uh, Darby Allen well, trapping – they had that brawl, right? They had the brawl. Yeah. Well, Darby yeah. Allen got trapped under a steel door. but And, and then yeah. Jack Perry was going to kill him, run him over yeah. with like a – and then security came in. But Jack Perry has sure been a fucking dickhole lately, man. I mean – Well, Sure. Did you sure. did you see what he did on Collision? The 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 poor mm-hmm. guy that he he spray painted in the face. Oh like, yeah yeah yeah. I I don't. Yes, I did actually see that. I, for, uh, I don't know why why. Is, oh, because he because that's like God. Look at that's this a guy, Robert. What's his problem? I don't know. Well, he 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 buried this guy, and he buried the old belt in literally, like a, literally. Yeah, wow. and and he literally has a, and figuratively, and he has a new what TNT title. So I guess oh, since, wow. he, since he has his own TNT title, I think I'm going to pick him to win this match. So, mm. and I, cause Darby also has the, the guaranteed world title shot at grand slam. So maybe they have plans Wait, for Darby. Why does to Darby win have a guaranteed title shot? Who did he, who did he beat? I forgot what it was. Some kind of gauntlet oh, match wait. or something, but I don't, I don't remember. He, they, I can't even remember these things. Um, okay. Uh, I'm picking yeah, Jack a, Perry. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Robert, I'll go with that. Okay. I'll go with that as well. All right, I'm picking Jack Perry also, but oh my God. I want to add one one other thing though. I I don't know if this. I wouldn't necessarily say this is a prediction, <laughs> but I th- I think what Jack Perry should do at some point during the match, and I know we're we're not a fan of this incident, but. I, I think he should make at some point during this ma- match make some reference to the real glass incident from last oh, year. Sure. Oh yeah, Again. I mean, I, I should definitely be real that. glass in this match. No, I mean, I know, I know, none of us like it. Uh, I mean, either. But look, he's he's already called the scapegoat. That that in in of itself is an, uh, a reference to what happened last. And they've already showed the video. Exactly, and then and then he, you know, he's he's in his current heel scapegoat um persona why not play into it right that that's that's why i think he should even though you know i i didn't like what he did last year but why not just make some sort of reference to it but but yes yeah, so i'm picking jack perry <clears throat> all right next one is what we covered earlier in the day Britt baker and mercedes monet now is your time to give a prediction how about robert we'll start with you oh this is tough you gotta just call know. something out, man. Uh, just put something okay. on record. <sighs> all right, I'll, I'm gonna go, oh, man. Well, right, I'm gonna take Britt Baker. Brit, 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 Brit. Yeah, some people are saying Jamie Hader could return, and yeah, you know, I, I want oil to, Camille. Yeah, why, why not? Because she she is uh, from from England, isn't she? So it makes sense. So I'll, I'll choose uh, Britt Baker. All right. Uh, Vlad, I'm gonna pick Brick Breaker too. By the way, Vlad. Uh, I. Well, no, I think Mercedes is gonna win this. Well, you might, you might both be right. I, I no, I mean, both. well, that's not a bad pick because look, Brick Breaker just got Isn't this off like a suspension. Her, like, yeah, like why are we rewarding her after suspension? Uh, she, now she's gonna beat our quote unquote one of our new top stars that we just brought in and really. I don't, I don't know. The the only reason it would know. make sense for me is if they happen. had that. It's, that's why it's like hard to predict AW matches because like it's all nonsensical. So it's like hard to really figure it out. But I'm gonna go with Mercedes. All right. Well, yeah. I'm telling you, the only reason I think it makes sense for Brit is if they have the Jamie Hader plan like in the in the books for a long time. Well, that would be and good. Like, I hope Jamie yeah. Hader does come back. Yeah. Yes. All right. Next one we got. Casino Gauntlet, man. Well, this is just an easy one. Orange Cassidy is going to win and get his first title shot. So, anybody else want to make a prediction of anybody else on the roster? I don't know who else is in it, but well, we yeah, don't know. Okay. They still have to do qualifying matches for it and stuff. But uh, <laughs> the damn thing is, what the heck? How could they not 
stupid. Okay. Uh, it's, you know what? Skip it. Skip it. You don't even want to throw out a name just in case you're no. right. Roderick no. Strong, no. anybody? Okay, fine. Uh, no. all right, no. I couldn't find a graphic for this oh, for All In, goodness. so I just used the one from Dynasty. Because <laughs> these guys have already fought once before when Jericho oh, cracked funny. Hook on the head with a baseball bat. He's also burned his face uh, with a fireball. <sighs> so this is a blood feud to say the least and the stipulation is that uh hook can never fight for the ftw championship again if he loses and he has to get out of the jericho vortex and never be involved with chris jericho ever again and um, all right so in that case i got hook honestly what about you vlad yeah it's i mean it has to be it just has to be like oh my god okay robert you want to make it a clean sweep I, I predict myself going on a lunch break during this match. But, uh, okay, if I had to pick one, Hulk. All right, all right. Uh, what else we got? FTR versus the Young Bucks versus the Acclaim. This was set up also mm-hmm. on Collision because the, the FTR Acclaim match ended up in a time limit draw. So Tony Khan decided to just put everyone in the match. Fuck it. Um <laughs> That's kind of his booking style. Just fuck it, man. <laughs> Just let's do it. <laughs> God, I don't know about. I have no idea who's gonna win this one either. I assume the Young Bucks will come out keeping the titles, though. I guess. Uh, I'll Robert. pick the Young Bucks. I'll pick the Young Bucks. Yeah, I'm gonna pick the Young Bucks, but I want to just say real quick, real quick, that like eight months, nine months ago, I said something to, I think via text or something to our, you know, our group here that. Nobody has done more damage to this AW than the Young Bucks. Yeah, and I've been, I know. We know. Been proven we right. know. And I think one of our friends, one of our wrestling friends, Brian, right? You know, uh, yes, he was, yes. who has been on the show before, but he's been on the show. He's been on the show. Episode and he was totally against my position, and he and he, you know, I've been being proven more right each as the days and the weeks and the months have gone on. But that's well, all I'm going to add to that. Some people might still argue with you, but I don't know. Oh, yeah, it, yeah, is, sure. it is AEW is the wrestling them. alternative. If you love wrestling, okay? Pure wrestling. Oh, anyway, stop. There's nothing pure about this I know. Shit. Okay. I've, I've, listen, that's not the topic today. Let's not get no, off no, track. It's not. We're doing I'm just all saying, in predictions. I'm picking the young books. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. Next one. It's a four-way London ladder match for the AEW Trios title. So... So okay. four trios teams, uh, the Patriarchy, the the Bang Bang Gang, the House of Black, and a team to be determined this Wednesday on Dynamite. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh my God! For the AEW trios title in a ladder match, so they got to get all three of these belts, climb the ladder, and get all three belts. All right, who you guys got? I'm going to uh, go with the Bang Bang Gang, baby. Yeah, I mean, that's why I want to win, but I, yeah, I, I, I didn't know, even I know, know about this. I didn't even know about this matchup until you brought it up, but okay. Well, I know uh, we don't know who the fourth team is, so we just got to do our best and make it. If okay, you guys want to uh, pick the mystery fourth team, you could pick that. I'll, too, but... I'll go with the Bang Bang Gang. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm going to go with the Patriarchy. All right. It, who all cares? Right, at this point? The Patriarchy, all right. sure. And then the final prediction i think this is the most interesting one that i've been looking forward to getting what you guys thoughts are uh brian danielson his career is on the line apparently he can never wrestle again anywhere anywhere if he loses this match unless he's a liar which we've heard that before from like rick flair and stuff or people like that so who am i starting with who, who wants to go first he's facing swerve strickland for the aew world title brian danielson who's never been aew champion on the brink of retirement, is trying to go for the title. Vlad, you go first. They booked this in such a way where it, it would seem like Danielson should should win, but th- th- shouldn't Swerve <laughs> be the win? I don't know. I'm going to say Fuck Swerve. Swerve. But... No, bro. Okay, fine. It's Danielson. Fine. It's Danielson. I'm going to say Swerve, but it could be Danielson. This one could go But you're way. picking Swerve. You're saying this is so. You're saying this is Brian Danielson's last wrestling match. This guy's supposed That's to be retired crazy. anyways. This guy's supposed to be no, retired anyways. Man, yeah. he's a young guy. Look at him. He doesn't look that old. This can't be his last match. It's about his, but it's about his injuries, though. But... Yeah. Well, then why is he getting kicked in the head every week? Anyways. That's 
a great qu that's a great question. Yeah. Robert, you'll uh, be the tiebreaker. Mm -hmm. I, I'm picking Swerve on this. <laughs> yeah, I think Swerve's going to win. I'm the only guy who's picking Danielson. All right. Interesting. Interesting. Yeah. All right. One last prediction. What about the attendance? I say 40,000. Well, what if they sold so far? Does anyone know the numbers? I mean, we I don't even like know what they... 35. 35? Holy oh. shit. Oh, hold on, hold on. Well, okay, you, you, and you, you saw this? You know this? I don't have to look I, it up. I heard this somewhere. I can't give a reference, but... <laughs> okay. Uh... I don't know. I, I'm hearing some people are thinking 50,000 might show up, but I'm, I'm going to say 40. That's my, my prediction, which is not good. Not good for Wembley Stadium, especially considering they... They had everyone's right, attention. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go in the, in the middle and just, just say 45. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm seeing that, yeah, well, maybe about 40,000 have been sold. No, so okay. possibly. So according to me, no no more tickets will be sold. <laughs> I think they I think they could get to 50,000. There's a potential. There's a potential. Um, so I'll say, I'll say it'll be just under. So I'll say, let's say 48,000. All right, guys. That's good enough. I'm sorry I've kept you guys over. I usually try to keep our podcast an hour. This is an hour and 20 minutes. So let's just end the show there. We're going to see you guys next week with our All In London review. All right. So yep. subscribe for that. Subscribe. We got uh, review posts and review uh, review videos. And we're, we're trying to keep you guys entertained, man. We know sometimes people be at work. They're on their break. They need something to do check out our channel man we got a lot of content on there we're, we're trying to do our best to bring you guys the wrestling talk the wrestling baby huh. aew baby it is it is going to be maybe an aew more heavy show next week because we do cover a wwe mostly but this is their big show let's see what they can do let's see how oh, they yes, can I agree. impress yeah, I agree us aew